what is going on YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, we're going to review a Converse sneaker. Yes, you heard that right, Converse. For the longest time now, we've been doing mostly Adidas, Nike, and Off-White. It's about time that we do a little more of the different brands that are available out there. And you will be seeing more brands in the coming days ahead. Starting today, we are actually going to do my on-feet review of the Converse Tyler the Creator Golf Lefeur Industrial Pack. Let's go. Before we get started with today's vlog, let me just give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Rose Golden Black. Rose Golden Black is a premium men's accessories maker based out of Australia. I love the products that they have from their beaded bracelets over here to the grenade necklaces, boom, <laughs> that they have. So yeah, guys, if you are looking for accessories to level up your style, all you have to do is to check out the link down below. There will be a special 25% discount code applied to all the items that you guys can find over at their site. Please do support them because they make this, the vlog, possible. I'll just get straight to it. I love this shoe. This is probably one of my favorite Converse sneakers to date. Uh, next only to the Converse One Star SNS collaboration, the camo one that I did a review on a few months back. Link to that can be found down below. I just love this sneaker because it is by far the most comfortable Converse sneaker that I have ever tried and that I have ever worn in a long, long while. And as you guys know, if you don't know yet, let me fill you in. I'm, I'm really more of comfort number one, style number two, and everything else follows. I, I will not wear a sneaker if it doesn't feel good on feet. I will not wear a sneaker if it doesn't give me adequate support. And that's what I was really surprised to find with the Converse Golf Le Fleur, Tyler the Creator uh, Industrial Pack. I think this is like the Ox sneaker or the Ox Silhouette uh, of Converse and I was really blown away with the overall comfort. So uh, let me start the review with that. What makes it so comfortable? There are two things that really are making this sneaker stand out. Number one is the insole. It might look like your normal average insole, but guys, it is thick as in T-H-I-C-C thick. Take a look at that. It's a dual layer of foam, especially here at the heel up until the midfoot. So it tapers down a bit and becomes your normal typical foam near the forefoot. But it gives additional support to where it matters the most, which is your heel and the midfoot part of your foot. So this is just a heaven set, one of the best insoles I have ever seen and I have ever tried. So that's part one. The second part is actually the main, I don't know if you call it like the actual outsole, but there's like a second insole. Because if you take a look at this blue material, it's actually very squishy, some sort of like gel action going on. I don't know what specifically what it's made of, but these two things combined, this thick, super cool insole over here, plus the color blue thing that you guys see there, makes this really an incredibly comfortable sneaker, which was something I wasn't expecting because from my previous experiences with Converse's, they weren't really the most comfortable sneakers, to be honest. Now let's talk about the overall look and style. What I love about this, two things. Number one, quality of the materials. The upper is made from leather. So I, I think there are two kinds of leather. The one that you see here at the toe box, which stretches all the way until here in the middle, is some sort of like tougher tumbled leather, while the blue material that you guys see here on the medial and the lateral side is some sort of like softer leather and then it becomes hard again when you see the star with the Golf Le Fleur branding along the medial side. If you take a look at the back of the sneaker, you have the same tough blue leather over here or a tougher version of the leather and then that light blue stripe here at the heel. So overall, in terms of the material, it was really a pleasant surprise. I was expecting it to be another suede sneaker, uh, but fortunately, they didn't take that route, which I think uh, Tyler, the creator in Converse, deserved some credit for because the last time I bought a sneaker from their collaboration, it was the suede two-tone uh, One Star. Then they came out with the burlap releases, which was another type of material, and now you have another type of material with the leather upper for this particular sneaker. So two thumbs up, Tyler the Creator for that one. Now, the color blocking number two is also pretty sick. I love the, the sky blue with the dark blue, the way it gives contrast to that white, to the darker shade of blue here at the back, especially if you put on the blue laces. Guys, the default, by the way, is the white laces that you have here. I personally prefer it with the dark blue 
I think they're like woven and I'm not sure what the material is but I really prefer it with the dark blue laces because it gives it a little more pop. So that's the reason why I swapped it out already with the shoe that I have on hand. So style-wise, I love the color blocking. I love the materials that they used. I also love the versatility because you can switch in and out of the laces, which gives you more options on how you want to wear the sneaker. So yeah, guys, I really have nothing bad to say about the Golf Le Fleur uh, Industrial Pack. It's a really good sneaker. It's super comfortable. I love the color blocking. I love the style. Uh, and yeah, it's just two thumbs up for me. Perhaps the only con is the price point because this one I think I got for a little over 7,500 pesos here in the Philippines. That's roughly, if my math serves me right, $175 US. So it is a little bit pricey. Now the good news is, from my experience or from what I've seen, Golf Lifler sneakers usually don't hold much in terms of resale. So if you are looking for a pair, just, you know, stock, stock just stock stock x or just take a look at stock x or take a look at people who are selling it most likely there might be a chance that you will be able to get it under retail in a few months time that's actually it for this vlog now please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are in the middle of a giveaway we are giving away a realme c1 smartphone all you guys have to do is to subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram follow realme philippines on instagram and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics also, this is the second video of the day. I do daily vlogs. The vlogs come out at 7 p.m. But I already released a previous vlog which talks about that shiny thing at my background. Yes, I unboxed. I bought and unboxed the Infinity Gauntlet. That is a one-is-to-one -one replica that I was able to pick up here in the Philippines for a little over $1,000. $1,000! $1,000! Woo! $1,000. 55,000 pesos. So check that out. The link will also be down below in the description and in the comments box guys that's it for now i hope you enjoyed peace god bless what's up thank you rose in black rose gold and black for all the love that's it for now peace god bless what's up boom